The first thing we're going to need is the administrator password for your workstation. You won't be able to access a lot of what I'm showing you without that password. The first tool we're going to be looking at is Event Viewer. So open up your Start menu, go to All Programs, and then to Administrative Tools, and Event Viewer should be the third or fourth entry. Uh, now Event Viewer creates log files that record significant events on a specific computer. It can be used for monitoring the health of a system and troubleshooting issues when they arise. Event Viewer automatically sorts logged events into several broad categories. Uh, application, security, setup and system. Uh, if you wish, you can add a custom view if you're particularly interested in, say, one application. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be looking at the standard entries. So if we navigate to System, this first entry is an informational entry. Uh, it will give some basic details and a description. Below, it uh, uh, tells you what the source was and what the event ID is. And the event ID uh, is quite important because if you uh, need some extended help uh, with this particular problem, then you're able to uh, generally search on the Microsoft website uh, this event ID and some of the other information here and it will provide you with a more complete answer in, in what's going on. Uh, very helpful is the precise date uh, that this event occurred. So if, for example, your computer uh, blue screened and turned itself off, you could see exactly what was happening when the system, uh, f well, shut down. Uh, some of the other tools, uh, they will provide different entries. Um, the source uh, can be quite important. It will tell you what, uh, say, application was running. Uh, this example is Simon Tech Antivirus, and it's just letting me know that it performed a scan. The next tool we're going to look at is Windows Memory Diagnostic. So to find that, it's in the same place as Event Viewer. It's in Start Menu, uh, All Programs, Administrative Tools, and it's under Windows Memory Diagnostic. Now, this screen uh, that I have up at the, at the moment is what you should see when you click on the Windows Memory Diagnostic uh, icon. And unfortunately, I can't step you through using it because it needs to run uh, on the next restart cycle of your computer. But Essentially what this program does is it checks your computer's RAM for errors. Now, uh, this, can, this can be a basic scan that takes a few minutes uh, or an extended scan that scans your system multiple times to find uh, elusive problems uh, with your computer's RAM. Now, if memory diagnostic detects an error, it's likely your computer's RAM is going to need to be replaced. The next tool we're going to look at is System Configuration, found in the same place as before under Admin Tools, System Config. Now this is the screen that should be displayed. Uh, uh, this is an incredibly useful uh, Windows utility, uh, but I don't have time to go through all of the tabs, but I really want to look at, look at the Startup tab. Now this shows you what your computer is running when you first boot it up and a lot of programs when you install them will actually place themselves in this list and frankly they don't need to be. So a program like iTunes uh, doesn't always need to run on startup, uh, in fact it doesn't need to run on startup at all and it actually increases the, the length of time it takes your computer to boot up. So if your computer is running quite slowly, if it's taking three, four, five minutes to boot up, then this may be one of the one of the problems. You've got too many programs uh, running when the computer first boots. Now, word of caution, don't alter these uh, entries unless you know exactly what the application does and that it isn't actually essential for the system. Some of these are system processes and it's really not a good idea to disable them on boot up. The last tool we're going to look at is the Disk Defragmenter. 
Now this is under Start Menu, All Programs, uh, Accessories, System Tools, and then Disk Defragmenter. Now Disk Defrag is a utility in Windows that scans a connected hard drive to determine how fragmented it is. And that basically means how spread out your files are. After a preliminary scan, uh, Windows will return a percentage, uh, and in this case, uh, my hard drive is 10% fragmented. Now, that's at about the point where I like to uh, defrag my hard disk, and you can do that by selecting a drive and clicking defragment disk. Now, this will take uh, up to a couple of hours in some cases, depending on how large your hard disk is and its level of fragmentation. Uh, a, a, a nifty feature is the ability to configure a schedule. So I've told my computer to defrag every week uh, at uh, 1 a.m. on Wednesday. Now, I'm a very heavy user of this computer. I move uh, a lot of data around, uh, so a weekly defragmentation is appropriate. Now, if you're a less intense uh, user of your computer, then I would recommend every couple of months, maybe maybe every quarter. Uh, but just keep, keep keep an eye on it, and if it starts to you know go above ten percent, uh, then then defragment your disk. Just let your computer run overnight, and hopefully you should be noticing uh, just a, a, a some some small increases in the a speed with which you can open files. Uh, a, another thing to remember is that you can defragment your USB drives. So the thumbstick that a lot of people carry around, um, often moving a lot of files back and forth, you can defragment that too, uh, just to give it a bit of a performance boost. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching.